Hey there, this is May's Lug Life. Welcome. Uh, I'm May. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, glad to see you come back. Um, on this channel, I give detailed tours of Lug products, um, ideas on how to use some of their features. Um, I try to pack the bag so that you can see really how they work in real life and just how big they are and what the capacity can be. Uh, sometimes I'll even compare different features uh, on lug products or even lug products themselves. Um, stay tuned at the very end of this video to see fact sheets that I've taken directly from lug's website with all of the different specs from the bag uh, that I'll be talking about in this video. Uh, there you'll find exact measurements, the weight, uh, different features that come with the bag that Lug originally put out when they released the bag. Um, basically, you're going to see this bag today. I'm going to review a bag that doesn't really exist. They don't make it anymore, although there are many bags that are similar. Uh, they don't make this anymore, but I'm doing this because I know that some people are still buying things uh, either brand new off of Amazon or off of other websites that don't have as much information, that don't have as many good photos, um, and uh, or you're getting it from like a like a secondhand app like Poshmark or something like that, where sometimes the photos are well, there's only a few photos. Sometimes there's uh, descriptions, but that might not be enough. So this is hopefully going to give you a little bit more information and show you exactly how it fits real life stuff. So um, stay tuned at the end and see what uh, what all the different measurements are if you're curious. Um, and again, if you are not buying this uh, in the future or if you already have one of these, hope you enjoy the video. So right here you will see this is the Avion. It is a tote style bag with a really long drop handle here. Um, this is in shimmer navy. I can't really see the color. There's absolutely no way you can see this color and see how beautiful it is. Even in the sunlight, it just starts to look a little bit strange. So it looks kind of black here, but it's actually a beautiful, beautiful, stunning blue with a, just a little bit of shimmer. It's not that shiny. So when they sim shimmer, it's not like glitter. It doesn't have a total shimmer to it. Like you're not going to see it from a long, long way away. It's just the way they've woven the fabric and it just gives off a little bit of reflection in the light. Uh, so this is shimmer navy. And like I said, it does look black, but it's a little bit lighter than that in real life. Um, so I'm gonna take you on a tour on of the outside, then I'm gonna take you on the inside. So I've actually already packed it. Um, if you'd seen my previous video about the gondola, that was the work bag I was taking from last week. I have repacked everything from the gondola into this bag, because this is what I'm taking to work tomorrow. So I'm hoping that all the stuff that I was able to get into the gondola will fit better in this one, and I was right. Uh, the other one I couldn't zip, this when I could. So I'm going to show you all the stuff on the outside. I'm going to take you on the inside as I unpack the bag, what I've put into it, and then I'll talk to you a little bit of how this bag functions for me. So on the outside, if you're new to Lug, this is the signature cell phone pocket. So this is on pretty much every single Lug bag that I think they've made probably for the last, uh, well, at least since 2010. 18, 2019. Not all of them do, but most of them do. It's got a little magnetic tab here and a magnetic tab on the other side and it just snaps shut. There's a tiny little pull there. Um, it is a little bit of a loop. A lot of people are using this to put um, their uh, bag charms on or hook their sanitizer onto. So that is, um, you can just use it as a pull for your cell phone. If not, you can just put your finger in there and open that. It is fleece lined, so it's soft lined on both sides. You could even put your sunglasses, uh, your reading glasses in there, jewelry, um, anything that you don't want, want that you want a little bit more protected that you don't want scuffed up. So that's the outside there on the front. The back of this has two zippers and one is a little bit smaller and it's at the very top. I kind of consider this, that's the interior by the way, it's um, kind of a blush pink with like peach and white, uh, I would say taupe uh, and navy polka dots and these little tiny dots there are all navy. This is probably my absolute favorite um, interior they've ever made. It's so much cuter in real life. Can't quite see the color here, but it's so, so cute. Uh, I really, really wish they'd make more of this. Um, so this is just a, a pocket. There's no organization in here at all. Um, it's basically about the same size as the cell phone pocket on the other side. So if you happen to have a second cell phone, um, that would be great in there. The zippers are all gunmetal on this bag and they're really good and smooth. 
This one over here is a full zipper, sorry, a full pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. This one's kind of your, I don't know, mini office, I guess. There's two uh, pen slots there, so you can actually put pen holders. It is something that Lug likes to put in to all of their bags. Um, so yeah, and then there's no other organization. There's nothing else in here, but it does go all the way down to the bottom. So that's the back zipper there. Then you also have a really weird big trolley sleeve and it's, I don't know if you can see that there, but it opens up here and it actually goes all the way down to the bottom. So there it is there. Um, and it's and it's covered the whole thing is covered so you don't actually see it it's not a strap like some of the bags have so you can put that on your wheelie luggage if you happen to uh, want to carry this as a personal item or a carry-on you can strap that onto your wheelie and off you go when you're in a rush the very bottom is not plastic lined so there's no plastic on the bottom but it does have four little nubby plastic feet uh, so you won't be able to wipe this off the same way that some of lug bags do but there are little feet there but because this is such a pretty bag i'm kind of in some ways glad they didn't put it on here because i think it would have made it look a little bit cheaper but it is unfortunate because then if you put that on things like salt uh, in the winter you're kind of in trouble so um so there we go and it's actually a very very big base uh it really holds a lot and it really allows for the bag to have great stability so if you really packed it you can see there um, it seems to really hold its shape well and it stands up on its own really well. It's quite packed and it doesn't get top heavy uh, just because there's no, um, it's kind of balanced on the bottom and it seems to distribute the weight quite well. The uh, straps, it comes with two straps. On the outside you have attached uh, tote straps with a rubberized grip on both sides. So there's one on each strap there. Um, and there's also a detachable strap which is on the inside. I'll show you that in a second. And it attaches with little um, lobster clips on the outside here. So there's a D-ring on this side and a D-ring on the other. Oh, actually it's right here. Um, I haven't clipped it off yet. So there's the lobster clasp there and you just, uh oh, I've got it on the wrong angle here. So you would just open it and unhook it and, uh, and then clip it back on if you wanted to. So that's how it clips onto there. Um, I'm going to take you on the inside now. So the zipper here actually does have a little bit of an opening. It's not a full, it doesn't close the bag completely, but it does seem to cover it quite nicely at the back. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. Sorry. Um, so the zipper at the, at the back here, there's a little bit of a hole. It doesn't go all the way to the end, but it's, there's a lip that comes high enough that it doesn't really it's not really gaping, so like you know, if it's raining or something, you shouldn't like, water shouldn't get in there too badly. Um, and then same thing with over here, the zipper. Even though there's a little bit of a hole there, it it actually does go all the way out to the end. So you're not gonna like I said, there's a little bit of a hole, but it's you are actually gonna be able to keep everything in there quite safe. So there's that gunmetal zipper there. So let's go inside and see what I've packed into it. Uh, I've got a pair of capri pants. I have a thin sweater. I have my uh, portable Bose speaker. Uh, I'm a dance teacher, so I'm teaching a private class tomorrow. Well, again, I need a speaker. Um, my full-sized, fully thick, uh, rubberized uh, iPad case there. It's an iPad uh, Air 2. Um, I have a fully, fully, fully packed roundabout sitting in there. So it's completely packed and really heavy. Um, and I also have a pair of basically running shoes. It's about the, about the same size as running shoes. So that goes in the very, very bottom. And then on the inside here, on the other side, I've got a water bottle and I have um, alcohol spray. If you're seeing this in the future, this is being filmed during the pandemic. So I'm taking that in case I need to spray a surface down. Uh, and then this side, there is um, a full-size coupe. Full-size coupe. It's a coupe. There's no such thing as a mini coupe. Coupe that goes into the pocket here in the back. There's another little pocket over here. So these are all uh, slightly padded. There's three there. There's one at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top. The um, coupe probably could go down a little further, but I've got a couple of things in these small pockets here. So I've got a, a coupe in there. 
then this has a, few, a couple of masks. This layer or level, this level, by the way, is fleece lined on the one side. So I guess if you have, um, I don't know, maybe you can get a small iPad in there, uh, sorry, like an iPad mini or another phone or some kind of tech. Okay, I'll get rid of that for now. Um, I've got a little pack of stickers, which is kind of why this is, actually, I'm gonna take that out. I've got a little pack of stickers down here. I'm teaching a little four-year-old, so I've got some stickers in there I, I can give her if I need to. So that's in those little pockets there. There's no other organization. These ones are just straight. That one goes all the way down. This one goes all the way down, and this one goes all the way down. They're just different layers so that they don't hold. I guess you can keep all of them, stack them really, really high, but then start sticking out a little bit. Um, and then this side over here, there is a mesh pocket. Uh, it's completely breathable, and it's got its own little gusset right there. So in it, I've got some TheraBands. I've got about five or six TheraBands in there. Uh, so there's a zipper that goes across there. And then the other side, which you really couldn't see at first, there are two sets of Clearview pockets. So there's one zipper that comes across the top here, but the clear view pocket actually divides into two. So there's a little seam down the middle there. There's a stitch down the middle and there's a pocket on each side. So there's a pocket there and a pocket there with one zipper that goes all the way across. Then you've got two cargo pockets that are clear view down at the bottom and they're pretty big. You can actually fit a fair bit of stuff into it um, if you really wanted to. So there's my Bose speaker. I know it does fit. I just don't like it there because it doesn't sit all the way down because it is pretty bulky, but just so you get the width of it, there. So like I said, it's pretty it's pretty chunky, but that's, that's where that sits there. So there's a lot of great organization in the bottom of this bag. Um, and just so you know, there's the uh, exterior, the, sorry, the, um, the uh, crossbody strap. So I haven't used it yet. I always keep them at the bottom because I tend not to like tote bags if they've got handles already to have another strap. But if you really need to carry the weight differently, this strap actually is adjustable. Uh, there's a little there's a little tab here that you can pull and adjust. And then it has a little padded, um, I don't know, I guess a little sleeve. So it's it just sort of slides over top of your strap. And then this is completely rubberized. So if you wanted to have something on your shoulder, sorry, as, as a crossbody, this has a little bit of a squish to it. So it's, there's a little bit of padding and it's rubberized. So that, that'll keep that on your shoulder a little bit better. So that is the interior. Those are all the different features of this bag. Um, Basically, it is a typical lug tote. So when they have these totes, they have a very, very similar styling. Uh, you will get various like variations on this, but for some reason, very many, most of them, they always have some kind of pocket on this side. Sometimes they're not mesh, sometimes it's just a big pocket, sometimes it's a clear view pocket, uh, and, but these ones seem to be a staple. There's always three sort of padded pockets on this side on many of their, um, of their totes. So that's a common feature. And again, on this side, it just depends. Sometimes it's a privacy pocket. Sometimes it's one really big, uh, uh, what's this called, clear view pocket. Sometimes they're separated. So depending on the bag, depending on the size, they will include different features on the other side. Sometimes there's a cargo uh, pocket for your tech, like your iPad, it's padded or it's fleece lined. Uh, but um, the general overall sort of features on the inside of the, of, of the totes are kind of similar to this one. Uh, and same with the outside. You'll, like I said, you'll always get nowadays, you'll get the, um, the magnetic uh, cell phone pocket. There's going to be a strap of some sort somewhere, uh, usually for your luggage on the back. And very often there'll be another zippered pocket or um, a, a, like a magnetic pocket on the back. So this is the Avion SE, I think it is actually, to be specific. I guess you'll see so you'll see, you'll see that in the fact sheets later. Um, I love this bag because it does carry a lot. Um, it's really comfortable on your shoulder. I prefer uh, tote straps like this. I love the the drop. It's quite a big drop. So even if I carry this in the winter uh, with a with a with a puffy coat. Um, it's, it sits really well on my shoulder. It doesn't slip off because they're so long. And even if it's packed, they do stay on. 
these rubberized grips really, really do help and work. The only problem with rubberized strips uh, on, rather grips on, on bags, is if you happen to have really long hair, <laughs> which I do right now, um, and it's not up, sometimes it can get tangled in here and it can really rip your hair. So if you're carrying a bag with rubberized straps, make sure your hair is really well pulled back in a ponytail or way, way, way out of the way, carry it on the other shoulder or whatever it is, or carry the crossbody because these things will rip hair and it bloody hurts. Uh, and then unfortunately, if you're like me and I'm already losing a bit of hair because I'm getting older, um, those few hairs that you lose are, are kind of precious. So uh, this is, it's, you know, use, use with caution, I guess, but they really, really do help uh, keep your bag on your shoulder. I love that, especially since I carry so much and it does bulk out a little bit. Um, if, like I said, you can definitely use the um, crossbody that comes with. I always take it, I always leave one hanging this way on the outside so that I always know where it is. And then I just leave the thing at the bottom. So that's why you see it at the bottom there. Um, overall, like I said, great bag, great capacity, really great organization. Uh, it feels really comfortable. It hangs really well. Uh, it, it holds a lot without feeling like it's a giant bag, even though it kind of is. It's really quite big. Um, and I actually know that they do make similar bags to this. Some of them are, not, are I don't think they're quite as big as this, but they do have very similar size bags without all the organization. I think the Peekaboo is about the same size, uh, but with no organization. There's the Apollo, which is a bit smaller than this with very similar organization. Uh, the Arpeggio, which is even, I think it's definitely smaller than this and thinner with very similar organization as well. Um, so it's a similar type bag that Lug makes and they, it seems like they will continue to make this bag. It's a classic tote. Uh, but I just wanted to give you an overall sense of this particular bag. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, like I said, stay tuned at the end. There are fact sheets at the end. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I will try to answer them the best I can. Uh, and if you uh, are already have this bag, let me know. Uh, tell me what you think of it. Anyways, I hope that was enjoyable and helpful for you all. Have a great one, and I will see you the next time around. Take care. Thanks.